everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to this morning edition. Well, it's not really the morning right now. I had to sleep in because I was very bad migraine all night yesterday, no, all morning. So I had to sleep in. Just enjoying a herbivorous breakfast today. It's no bacon, sausage, and ham. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the new Jurassic World Dominion trailer. Thank you so much to everybody that sent me a message saying that it came out, especially Brian. I believe he was the first one to message me. So I actually don't want to watch this trailer. I, I really don't because the last trailer for Fallen Kingdom really ruined the movie for me. I was bored like the entire time. I knew everything that was gonna happen. I'm like, okay, now we gotta get to the manor. Now we're gonna like, he's gonna go in the roof, and he's gonna go in the bedroom, and he's gonna little, uh, run around in there. It was just like, there was no uncertainty really for me. So my hopes for this trailer is that it doesn't spoil, you know, the beginning, middle, and end for me. It's like, okay, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, and uh, at the end, it'll blah, blah, blah. I have not looked at a single thing of spoilers, leaks, or, you know, theories of what's gonna happen. I'm a complete blank slate. If we see a dinosaur in there, and it's like, oh, that's the Bubba Koopa Merka Raptor. Like, I don't know. I'm sorry I can't give you that name because I haven't dissected it a million times because of a photo leak or something. And I apologize, I'm not savvy with character names. You know, I know everyone from the original Jurassic Park series, you know, one, two, and three. I know Claire and Owen, but apart from that, I basically don't know anymore, okay? I know my original 150 Pokemon, but I don't know all these other Pokemon that just joined the chat. Please don't ruin everything for me, okay? I really hope this trailer is good because I really do like this franchise a lot. Okay, to be honest, I like, I really don't like the idea of like, oh, all well, these dinosaurs, you know, uh, alongside society. In Lost World Jurassic Park, they did a really good job on it because it was just a little snippet of, you know, what could happen if, you know, this big T-Rex is just thumping, thumping, thumping. Is that, is that real? real world thumping, but if it's thumping through, you know, a, a big city. It kind of takes away from the franchise for me. I love, you know, thinking of the dinosaurs as, oh, some sort of fantasy island, you know, like if you pay big bucks, you can go see it, you know, over there, or you can study them in the wild on, you know, Isla Sorna. And like, it's just all tranquil in there and everything. Like, I don't want to be thinking of like, you know, Dwayne the Rock Johnson owning like, you know, five triceratops or something and an ankylosaurus. You know, they're like taking selfies with it, taking it for walks, you know. Oh, let me get my bowl out of the way here so you don't see my bowl. And let me kind of like crouch down and pretend that I'm like watching it right here. One more bite for the road. One more bite before we watch this trailer. Oh! Play. I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. I hope they're not like cows and they're like using the parasolophus as like cows. Hopefully they're just rounding them up. Something that was real. Something that they could see and touch. Oh, they got Hammond in the background. Like from the original movie. Well, I guess that was Maisie, right? Creation. Oh, it's little baby blue! Oh, that's nice. That's so cute. Life. We'll find a way. Oh, I like, I like the, the voiceover like in the back. We can't keep her here forever. If they find her, we're never gonna see her again. We gotta protect her, that's our job. Humans and dinosaurs can't coexist. Oh, sweet. We created an ecological disaster. <laughs> Alan Grant. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? Oh my god, I'm like crying. And they had like the music in the back. We're racing toward the extinction of our species. We not only lack oh, dominion me. over nature. We're subordinate to it. Hard core. Oh, she's wearing her same costume. Come back. I always come back. Plane, right? Not 
not exactly. My birthday is June 30th, so I consider this a birthday present. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it got teary-eyed when I saw Ellie and Grant together. That was so sweet. And like the music was in the background. Oh wow, that was like, that was pretty nice. I, re I really like how, I really like how I really don't have any idea what's gonna happen. Like, you know, all, all I see is, you know, them trying to wrangle all the dinosaurs up. I can't really think of anything else. Um, that this trailer showed me. Okay, how amazing is this scene right here with Ellie wearing like what she wore in the original film, hey? That is so amazing. So it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of drama here with um, them trying to protect Blue, I guess, from people. So it'd be really interesting to see how like the society mentality like what, what, what society thinks, you know, towards these dinosaurs. Like, are they trying to use these dinosaurs? Are they like freaked out by these dinosaurs? Don't want anything to do with them? Just kill, kill, kill. So it'd be interesting to see if like they actually want to use dinosaurs. I'm sure there's gonna be people that are doing like illegal things with dinosaurs. Like, you know, oh, Velociraptor, scrotum cure, Dilophosaurus, Dilophosaurus frill soup. Oh, that Mosasaurus coming out of the water uh, is really cool. Taking that boat down. Ellie Sattler. Oh my God, I'm crying again and I'm just like looking at it again. We not only lack dominion over We lack dominion over nature. Life breaks free, life finds a way. I don't know what this facility is, honestly. Like, is it the old Jurassic World or something? The old Jurassic World Park? Or is this just like a f new facility to kind of, you know, handle all the dinosaur, all the dinosaur sitch, where they bring all the dinosaurs here or something, I don't know. Or possibly it's an, a dinosaur execution center. We don't know. Oh, by the way, freaking feathery raptor. You know, the whole, you know, the whole like, uh, you know, kerfuffle with, oh, the raptors don't have feathers in Jurassic Park and such. And like, there we go. We got a, we got a feathered raptor. This is called like the pyroraptor, the atrocious raptor. One of those new raptors that came out or something. Is it like a bunch of bugs or birds or something? Maybe, maybe they're like all fleeing because of all the dinosaurs and they're kind of like ruining the, the balance of the ecosystem and nature. Is that a cut for koalas? Oh, love the dinosaurs. Oh my God, I can't wait to see that. I don't know what that last dinosaur was. So like a Giganotosaurus. So I've watched it two times, initial reaction. Just taking a little closer look at the pictures and I am not watching anything else. I'm not watching any more picture, like uh, hidden Easter eggs or like, you know, analysis videos. I'm not watching any of it. Like I'm okay with that. It didn't spoil too much for me. Looking forward to a lot of really cool scenes in there. Can't wait to see the original cast. Um, and yeah, I, I oh, can't wait to see my Dilophosaurus. Yeah, Dilophosaurus, I'm so happy you're back. I was so sad when in Jurassic World, uh, the first one, it was just like that hologram of the Dilophosaurus. I was like, no. Grant, Ellie, and Owen and Claire, you know, trying to like help the dinosaurs do what's in their best interest. And then you obviously have like opposing people and opposing, you know, members of society. So I like that it didn't actually show all those different viewpoints of the dinosaurs. Like it was just that core group that we have gone on that we have um, grown with, you know, throughout the franchise that always just wants the best for the dinosaurs. So, oh, brought a tear to my eyes seeing Ellie and Grant together again. Oh man, it's making me cry again. It'd be really cool to have people from every single one of the original films. So it'd be cool to, you know, I, I already know the spoiler, you know, that like we're gonna see, you know, the original cast from Jurassic Park because that's, we've known that forever now. So it'd be cool to see the original cast. It'd be cool to see um, Sarah and Nick and um, well, obviously Ian Malcolm for the first one, but it'd be cool to see like, you know, part of the cast from Lost World, uh, maybe even Kelly as a grown up or something. Um, also from number three, it'd be cool maybe to see um, Eric, you know, grown up. Uh, Eric Kirby from the, you know, the Jurassic World, Jurassic Park three. Uh, maybe he's all interested in dinosaurs now or hey, even, okay, listen. Okay, since I first saw Jurassic Park, to me, it felt like 
It was a villain origin story. You know that boy, he's like, looks like a six foot turkey. And then Grant kind of scares him. So I thought that he would be the perfect villain to like be working for InGen or just some sort of like, you know, third party person that's like against dinosaurs because he's scared of them secretly and he just wants to like wipe them, wipe them out or something. Heck, even from Lost World Jurassic Park, that little girl, the little rich girl on the boat on the coast there. And she's like, mommy, mommy, you've got to come see this. I found something. You know, it'd be so cool if she grew up to be like one of the people like in the movies. So yeah, let's just concentrate on this trailer, you know, and our thoughts on it. Uh, any Easter eggs I didn't catch on or pick up on or anything and your thoughts on it. And please leave out any leaked info. I don't want to be listening to any spoilers like, oh, the very last scene is going to be the Giganotosaurus and it's going to be attacking, you know, the, the, the whole cast, like the old and the new cast. And then all of a sudden Rexy comes in and swoops and saves the day and Rexy dies to save, you know, oh my God, could that happen? Oh my God, I really hope that doesn't happen. Oh, okay, I hope that doesn't happen because that'd be such a good ending. Cause it's like the death of the franchise kind of in a way. And like Rexy is finally put to rest, but she does it saving, like saving the people. Oh my God, that'd be, I need more yogurt to make me not cry. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to see what you say about this in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one. So please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary.